Isaac, can you take us through your decision to come here? Um, it really came down to Coach Golding's defense and then also Coach Joyner. And when I saw when I came on my visit, it was like the second week of May, I think. And I sat down with Coach Golding, I sat down with Coach Joyner, and the way they talked about how it would be used in the defense and the type of defense that Coach Golding was bringing over from Alabama, I just thought it would be able to showcase my versatility and the different things I can do, like playing, standing up, handing it there, and things like that, dropping into coverage, rushing the passer. So, um, and the past success that Coach Kiffin has had here and show that he's been able to um, sustain is something I was really interested in. I wanted to go to a school where I'd have a chance to play, but then also have a chance to win um, another ring. So, yeah. Obviously, working closely with Cedric, just kind of what is it getting to work behind some guy, somebody who was here last year? I know the defense has changed, but what's Cedric been able to kind of do to help you these these couple of weeks? You know, it's just it's just always good to have someone to compete with, bounce ideas off of, try out different moves. Like he's teaching me moves, I'm teaching him moves, things like that. You know, um, having another player of that caliber um, playing alongside you is is just gonna is gonna keep making us go up and up and up, but competing with one another and getting better. So yeah. Felt like Saturday, uh, watching a scrimmage, that the defensive line had a really good day. Whoever mm -hmm. was out there, just what was kind of y'all's mood watching that film, and, and kind of what I guess when y'all got back Monday to practice, what was the mood? Um, when we watched the film from the scrimmage, you know, we we had a real critical eye to it. You know, we weren't getting too high on ourselves because obviously it was just a scrimmage. We're playing against people who we've been playing against this entire time, so you know, we know their moves, we know everything they're going to be doing, so we can't get too much on our high horse from playing well in the scrimmage because we're going to be playing against guys that we haven't played against. Uh, once the season comes. So we really, um, we acknowledge the good things that we did, but we were really more critical of how we could have been better and done different things better, so yeah. Last time we were here, we were talking to Josh Harris and he alluded to what Randall Joyner has often, you know, coined and referred to as, you know, standard and all that mm -hmm. sort of stuff. If you wouldn't mind just kind of elaborating on that. So the standard is basically, um, it's the floor. Like that's the least that you can give in terms of your effort, in terms of um, your attention to detail and, and making sure that you stick to that standard and most times exceed the standard. You know, the standards of the floor, but we never want to stay at the floor. We want to get to the ceiling. So that's really what it's about, just having that mentality of not being okay with where you are, but always striving to be higher and higher. So that's really what the standard is about. We've talked a lot about player culture and how the team's doing with all the transfers. How do you feel that the mental health certification all the coaches went through helps with that? Um, I think it's big because, you know, um, so I've been in college for a while, so, you know, and I've been coming up with the social media and the mental health and how that's been a big issue in the, in the real world as well as in the athletic, athletic space. But like, I feel like them taking, um, taking the time to get, to learn and to get integrated into how that can affect athletes and how they can better help athletes, I think that's really big. Cause you know, the days of just sucking it up and not acknowledging things, it, it, those days are behind us. And just because you acknowledge something doesn't make you weak, it just means that you're taking the initiative of, of, of getting over that hump and getting over that um, setback and using that to make yourself a better person, a better player, and not letting it hold you back. So I feel like there's no weakness in acknowledging mental health and, and its effect on us. Do you feel like it boosts your confidence as a player? And if so, how will that translate to how you play? Yeah, definitely for sure, because I feel like the more comfortable you are with your coaches and being open with your coaches, the better a player that you can be, knowing that you trust that they're always going to have your back and always be looking out for your best interest. So it definitely helps. In your previous seasons playing college football, who who kind of was is Isaac Ukwu and who is he now? Um, I would say like every year playing college football, I've just matured more and more. Obviously, not only in age, but in um, my mindset and the way I attack things, more of a business-like approach, trying to get things done when they're supposed to be done and, and um, taking everything seriously. You know, when I was younger, I used to joke around a lot, um, always think I had time, always think I had this and that. But, you know, as you get older and um, you realize you gain more of a sense of urgency, like this football stuff can end at any time. So I'm taking it one day at a time. and and um, attacking every day so that I can keep getting better and better. And I feel like that mindset has um, carried me to where I am now, being able to play in the SEC. How would you kind of describe your play on the field to people who haven't seen you play before? Uh, I would say I play a physical brand of football. You know, um, that's really where, um, where I make most of my plays with my physicality. And then uh, off of that, a change up, it would be some of my finesse type of plays. But I feel like I like to dominate physically and get to the quarterback, you know, stop the run and all that stuff. I feel like that's my main um, my main tool when I when it comes to rushing the passer and playing the run and stuff, my physicality.
All right, thanks, y'all.